This is Tom with the community team and today we're going to take a look at the upcoming App ID changes to the Google application and try to address a couple of frequently asked questions so you can transition to the new application as smoothly as possible. In the first week of December, Palo Alto Networks will release an update to the set of Google apps we currently support and will add the Google Base application. This new application is intended to simplify the safe enablement of Google applications and streamline policy configuration. The current set of Google applications depend on applications like web browsing and SSL to be explicitly allowed in the policy. The new Google Base application will replace these dependencies and selectively identify baseline services used by Google Apps. To take advantage of this new capability, the Paul Networks firewall must be updated with the content version containing the new application. At that time, the dependencies, web browsing and SSL are no longer needed to allow Google Apps. And instead, a policy should be created that allows a Google Base app ID, as you can see on my configuration right here. The Google Base app ID has been added to the application catalog of the update package released in the first week of November. If you haven't done so already, please download and install this content package right now. The app ID in this content package is delivered as a placeholder to allow you to prepare your security policy ahead of time. This placeholder app ID does not affect firewall policy processing or any existing app ID driven rules, but will allow you to verify your security policy before installing the real Google Base application when it is available. A sample transition policy could look like this, where the current dependencies are still allowed and the new app ID is placed in the rule above. Palto Networks intends to replace the placeholder application with the formal Google Base app ID in the first week of December at which time it will be added to the application and thread update package, which you can download through the dynamic updates of your firewall or through Panorama. All the currently supported versions of PanOS will receive the new application through content package on the release date. You will not be required to have SSL decryption enabled to be able to identify Google Base. However, SSL decryption will be required to identify Google applications that use SSL. Simply allowing Google Base will not allow any of the Google applications. You will need to create a security policy that allows additional Google applications to be able to allow them to pass through your firewall. A complete list of all the Google applications depending on the Google Base app ID can be found in the link provided in the article to the video. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.